Today's Christmas spot, we are having a look at the Diamond Select. This is the Disney Nightmare Before Christmas Sally Gallery PVC figure. Let's take the tape measure and figure out how tall Sally is. She is approximately 10 inches in height. This static PVC statue is made from high quality vinyl and was sculpted by David Cortez. Uh, she comes already planted on top of a display base. The display base is not removable. And you have Sally here kind of strolling through Halloween Town and she's carrying her little basket of goodies. She's got a couple of flowers on the side, or more so behind her. It appears to be kind of like a tulip. And again, like you've got Sally standing on top of it. There's the underside of the display base. Not really much to be said right there. I really do think that Diamond Select does great jobs when it comes to Nightmare Before Christmas pieces. This is a nice alternative for those collecting the figures, for example, who maybe just want a static, uh, non-posable sort of representation here of Sally. The coloring here is done quite nice, uh, really, not only on from the head, but all the way down on her patchwork dress, all the way down to the cobblestone sort of base that she stands on. The base has some nice kind of brushing of a bluish gray that's over top of the existing black plastic vinyl. And uh, we're just going to move the figure up here. Let's have a look at her face and then we'll kind of work our way down. The face is really done nicely. And again, I'm not bothered at all that this figure doesn't have posability. We have already a Sally from the Nightmare Before Christmas select line. So this is a great alternative. This is ideal for somebody that maybe at Christmas time or for that matter for Halloween time wants to just put a representation of Sally out. Doesn't have to worry about posing her or anything like that. You just really have a really nice statue that you can put out maybe on the mantle or on a shelf. But the face sculpt is done really nicely and you've got a little stitch work there on the top of her head and around the areas of her mouth. I think it looks very accurate to how she appeared in the movie. Then as we move the figure down, you can see the multiple different fabrics that she's made up of in the dress. A series of different browns, pinks. Man, there's a whole bunch of different colors there. Teal, and you've got some spiraled fabric there as well. I knew somebody that actually had made a Sally uh, outfit, and uh, it was pretty much as exact to this one. And it does really look nice. Very vibrant on the colors. The paint is generally really clean. I don't see any real hiccups anywhere whatsoever on the paint. The panel lining of the stitch work is also done quite nicely. And also like the hair, where it looks like it's probably been uh, dry brushed or like a brush of red over top of the existing uh, color, which was probably like a black. And it really helps because the black keeps in the recessed areas of the hair. So it really gives it that sense of texture. Spin the figure around again. Some nice texture work also done in the basket which is not removable. It's planted into very firmly into her grip here and all the way down to her feet. Now the Because this is also made of vinyl, the statue stays relatively light. It's not a too heavy of a piece. Now, if this was, of course, resin, I was really like resin pieces, but then you always have the word that resin could potentially break. And of course, the value, the cost of a resin statue is a lot more than, say, for example, vinyl. Now, this is a high-grade vinyl, so you're still getting all the benefits and you're getting a fantastic sculpt to what you would normally with a higher-end, say, resin statue. But again, I like that Diamond Slut keeps two different kind of brackets for their figures. The high grade resin pieces, which we've looked at on this channel, and again, like the gallery vinyl pieces as well. You're getting really the best of both worlds, getting good sculpt, getting good paints, just on a much lighter, more affordable means here. Like I said, the gallery stuff from Diamond Select is a good affordable means if you wanna be adding a statue collection to your home. The costs are fairly inexpensive. For a gallery statue here of Sally, for example, it's probably about $30 or so if you wanna be picking this up at a comic book store. I still think it's got all the great details that Sally has in the movie, both her dress and her face sculpt are done really extremely nice. And even though I really like my Diamond Select Nightmare Before Christmas figures, I love 
these PVC pieces. I hope, and I've been kind of checking online, I don't think they've released many others from the gallery, at least for Nightmare Before Christmas. Based on looking at this, I'd love to see them release, you know, a Jack Skellington, a Mare, uh, you know, Lock, Shock, and Barrel, a whole bunch of them that you could have out on display at Christmas time. I definitely, most definitely would want to be putting Sally here on display. It would be nice if she had maybe the other, you know, the other uh, dwellers of Halloween Town uh, join her as well. Today's Christmas spot, we were having a look at the Diamond Select. This was the Nightmare Before Christmas Gallery PVC statue of Sally. You guys haven't had a chance yet to hit that little subscribe button you are gonna make the naughty list okay maybe you won't but make sure you hit that little subscribe button down below of course more Christmas spots be coming your way before the end of this month we're always gonna sprinkle in some regular reviews in there as well so don't worry if you're not really into the Christmas spirit that's gonna make the naughty list as well but if you're not in the Christmas spirit that's okay there's gonna be regular reviews on this channel as well that you can watch also as always guys thanks for watching as you always do I'll see you next time.